Hi, I'm Kevin Savitz. I'm one of the hosts of Antic, the Atari 8-Bit Podcast. And this is kind of an a unboxing of a secret surprise. I don't know what's in these boxes. Um, in, let's see, in November 10th, 2015, I interviewed a man named Arthur Lamberger. And he was an Atari columnist. He wrote the Outpost Atari column in Creative Computing Magazine. And then he also wrote for Analog Computing and STLog. And uh, did a great interview with him, and that was published in March of 2016. So, interviewed him in November, it was published in March, and then in the middle, he emailed me in January, and he said, Hello, Kevin, uh, I've been unearthing vintage Atari stuff over the last couple of months. I'd like to send it all to you if you give me a shipping address. There was hardware, software, Jersey Atari user group newsletters for several years, and much, much more. I'm cleaning up my basement. I don't want this stuff back, so if you can use it, pass it on or dump it. It's been quite an interesting reminisce. Uh, he also said, since I've talked to you, I read the book on Commodore by Brian Bagnell, and I'm now reading The Ultimate History of Video Games by Steve Kent. Interesting stuff. It was, uh, I was also interested to learn that the Harmony cartridge for the VCS and all the Atari games available as files for download. So, uh, Arthur sent me these boxes. And I really have no idea what's in them other than what I just read to you. So let's open, let's open them up and find out. Should we do the big one first? Okay. I agree. Material. Wow. <laughs> it is an Axlon Andy robot. Holy cow. I'm trying to get it out here so you can see it. Look at that. This uh, robot was made by. Nolan Bushnell's company Axlon after um, after he left Atari he started to make toy robots and things and uh, this is a fun little robot toy that um, you can drive you can hook it up to your Atari 800 using or Commodore 64 using the joystick port and then control it and this one turn it around here looks like it's it's had better days it's got a little duct tape holding the speaker on. Um, like that. And the back of his head, I think, is in here too. There's the back of his head. We'll leave the screw on. Wow, that's incredible. Um, a little dusty and uh, needs a little tender loving care, but I'd like to see if this guy. Powers up, it looks to be in pretty good shape otherwise. Nice. Well, thank you, Arthur. Wow. That's truly a surprise. Okay, now a little box. That's in here. Let's watch Kevin dig through papers. Time. Super excited. Okay. The smaller but heavier box. The cat is now having fun packing materials as well. Before. Floppy disks, I see some copy things. Here's a note. It says, Kevin, enclosed are the 
uh, JACG, Jersey Atari Computer Group Newsletters. I was, this is handwritten, it's a little hard to read. Um, I was newsletter editor for five years or so and then president. At the time, JACG was one of the top Atari user groups. There were, they were MACE, Michigan Atari Computer Enthusiasts, a group in San Francisco, and a group in Boston. Videotape produced by Atari of user groups. There is a scene of me presenting a uh, game demo at JACG uh, at our monthly meeting at Bell Labs in Murray Hill, New Jersey. Various disks of programs and files. Uh, drawing tablet, don't remember if it is, can't read it, something or Atari. Synapse, mind control, headband, and unit. Wow, sounds like there's a relax unit in here. Nice. Um, this was a biofeedback system for using the Atari. And in separate package, I'm sending your Andy the robot. I don't have the disc, but maybe you can uh, get it from your sources. Uh, the program allowed Andy to be controlled by a joystick, and I think you can save programs. Hope you enjoy the spell part. Wow. That. Okay. Yikes. I'm excited. Let's dig in. Floppies first. Oh, there's a lot of floppies. We could be here a while. Um, we have excellent software. Can you, why don't you put the video? I'll just throw these down as I talk about them. Uh, excellent software com computer assisted math program. We have the, the time machine. Yeah, the dog. He's super helpful. Uh, we've got, oh, not sorry, theme machine. The serial number. And Graphic Titler by MMS Micro Software. Megafont Picture Disc Number One, copyright 1983 by Mark Whiteside, published by Excellent Software. Mode Mixer and Battle Stations, also by Excellent Software. The uh, Camp Computer Assisted Math Program by Excellent Software. Wait, there's two of those. Look at that. Um, oh, we got some pirated software, guys. Art. That's not right. War in Russia, uh, SSI objective disks for War in Russia, Questron by SSI, Questron by SSI. They're not necessarily pirated software, these could have been his backups. I'm too quick to judge. Gumball and Whistler's Brother, F-15 Strike Eagle, or copied software, Wizard and the Princess, going faster because I think it's less interesting because it's just uh, Pirated stuff, Strip Poker, Zeppelin, one of my favorite games, and Way Out, Ultima 2, Castle Wolfenstein, Snapper, Dandy, Eliminator, Quarksong, Bug Attack, Broadsides, Queen of Hearts, Threshold, Pool, uh, NATO Commander, Spitfire Ace, Infocom Sorcerer, and Sea Stalker, uh, Game Star Football, some empty disc holder uh, sleeves, ET modem, 130XE sector copier, graphics conversions, Chatterbee, rapid reader, juggles rainbow, I just interviewed the guy who made that program, um, the factory, Mickey and the great outdoors, SAT preparation, I'm sure that's still super relevant to today's SATs, uh, flash spelling scrambled letters, my first alphabet, master type, big math attack, linear equations, quadratic equations, and Plato. Hard to read. Plato physical elementary something machines. Plato, um, Plato computer literacy intro. Plato Computer Literacy Intro Side 3 and 4, APX Circuit Lab. There's that. Uh, then we have some paper stuff. There's a, there's a WordStar uh, fast reference guide. Um, it's for PC. What's that doing in there? Uh, and some paper. A lot of paper printed out things. Um, 
APX data path on demo file, uh, data file processing, storing data on the 810 uh, program recorder, super dupe master, scopy 810 user guide, disk scan user guide, well, oops, it's coming apart, disk scan user guide, print out, manuals for disk commander 2, disk commander 2, and basic commander. Important information, read this before you install your new ramrod board in your computer. Whoever thought that was a good name for a product, I think I disagree with you. Um, here's a registration form that that uh, are filled out. I'm not going to show you his address. Um, and then we have a, what is this? What are we looking at here? A manual for something. Oh, you're about to embark on a journey through Atari DOS 2.0S as modified by Richard K. Bennett. In this tutorial, the original DOS will be referred to as DOS 2, and this version will be DOS Mod. All right, so we've got a DOS Mod manual. And then we have a photocopy of the Atari, one of the Atari reference manuals, and um, something about EPLEX. Some of these papers, I'm not sure what order they're supposed to be in. Power Vision 2.0, and MS DOS on the ST part one. There's ST stuff in here. Oh, I feel dirty now. All right. I just saw the address from Redmond that made me feel bad. Yeah. Okay, back to the box. Um, we have the videotape we talked about. This is called Atari Keeping in Touch Color Dub 15.18. And this apparently was sent out to users groups. We'll see if this is, has not been digitized yet. If so, I will do it. It's got, it says the, the labels from Television Associates. It must have been the, the group that uh, duplicated these things, I'm assuming. Atari Keeping in Touch. Is it on YouTube yet? Love that name. Um, and then we have a, ooh, a, it's, it's a disc, double disc converter. It's a disc notcher for three and a half inch discs. I've seen one of these. Looks like some sort of torture device or something. Ah, the relax unit we talked about. Uh, relax the stress reduction system. I believe this was published by Synapse, plugged into your joystick port, and then had a headband, and you try to relax, and it would show you things. I've never owned one of these. I've never played with one. Hopefully the rest of it's in there, so we can try. Oh, there it is. Let's see. Now, I believe this is the headband. Super stylish, uh, uh, what's this stuff called? Corduroy. Um, Seriously? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, check that out. Put that on. Yeah, I'll put this on. Let's see. How's it go? It's Velcro. I think. Of course it was Velcro. Yeah. It's the 80s. It's got oh, Velcro in the 80s. And put that around your head and get your hair out of the way, I suppose. And then you've got this cable. It plugs into there. And then... I don't know how I could possibly relax on this head because I'd be like, someone's going to come into the room and see me looking with a Velcro band around my head. <laughs> it's going to be nerve-wracking. Uh, so yes, all right. So we'll I'll, we'll have to do it in the video later when I play with relax. Super cool though. Nice. Um, we have a reference card for pro for pilot programming inquiry, learning, or teaching with Turbo Graphics Pilot reference card. And a button says State of the Fun Robots by Tomi. So Tomi Robots is State of the Fun, I think. I dig Boulder Dash physics. Check out that. I do dig Boulder Dash. I don't like the game. I don't like the, the animation. I don't like the sound. But I sure do like the physics. That seems like a weird thing to call out on a button, doesn't it? Here is a photo pad. Fun. Touch tablet, run your finger around there, and control things on the screen. Two buttons. And finally, the last of the things in here are a bunch of newsletters. As promised, I will um, make a pile right here. 
the Jersey Atari Computer Group newsletters. I don't think these have been scanned. I don't recognize these. Volume two, number two. Volume two, number three. Volume two, number four. Volume two, number five. This is from January 1983. February 1983. March. April. May. July, oh, here's the Atari, there's the 1450 XLD, but it says here the 1250 XLD. Um, that's not right. And that, of course, that computer never really came out. And uh, the 800 XL, 600 XL, nice. That, there's a, that's just a whole bunch of disappointment for the Atari world right there, that machine. Um, August 1983, September. Yeah, these are not online yet. My scanner's gonna be working overtime. Um, October, November, oh, no, yeah, November 1983 and November 1984. Apparently, we're jumping ahead. Nice. Well, that's it. That is um, the box from Arthur Langer. Thank you so much, Arthur. And um, wow, this is, I got some projects now. <laughs> um, all right, more will be revealed when I test the relax and try out the ambient stuff later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.